with your storm team weather, here's Chief Meteorologist Aaron Ayers, sponsored by Big Country Equipment. Well, if you enjoyed this morning with cooler temperatures, we've got more of that on the way as we go later into this week. We can see highs in the low 70s for daytime highs. Let's get to those weather headlines and talk about what we've got coming up this week. We've got another front pushing through. That's going to create showers and thunderstorms for us this week. Much cooler as we go into the weekend. Those highs getting into those 70s, lows dropping down into the 40s. And I wouldn't be surprised if a few of our communities drop into those upper 30s by the time we get to the end of the week. St. Angelo right now, we're sitting at 84 degrees. Feels like 81 with humidity at 21%. Winds are on the south southeast at 13 miles an hour. Quite breezy this afternoon. Pressure at 29.76 inches and falling rapidly with clear conditions across the area. It's 84 up in Robert Lee, 81 in Ballinger, 81 in Brady, 85 in Junction, 80 in Menard, and 83 in El Dorado. Pretty much all sitting in those 80s this afternoon. Tomorrow morning, it's going to get even windier than what it is now as we go off to school tomorrow morning. Temperatures in those 60s, mostly cloudy conditions as you get on the bus tomorrow morning. As you get off the bus tomorrow afternoon, we're going to climb into those low 90s with partly cloudy and very windy conditions for us as we go through the day on Tuesday. Those winds gusting upwards of 30 miles an hour. Temperatures look like a roller coaster for us over the next five days. We'll get to the 90s on Tuesday, drop into those 70s on Wednesday, then we'll get back to those 80s on Thursday before we drop back into the 70s Friday and Saturday getting into those low 70s on Saturday into our upcoming weekend. Clouds of radar right now, no lots to talk about across the Lone Star State, but it's what's coming as we go into the middle of the week. This is Tuesday evening, our setup here, low pressure up into the Denver, Colorado area, and occlusion, that means a very strong surface low for us across the area. Cold front draped back across New Mexico, and this dry line across West Texas, that's what's going to be firing up showers and thunderstorms across the area, including increasing moisture, not just from the Gulf of Mexico, but also a tropical disturbance that we're watching out in the Pacific to track across Mexico and right across Texas, increasing moisture for us. And that could bring us a lot of rainfall, especially across our eastern communities. Our future radar looks like this as we go through the day on Wednesday. I think this is going to be the best day for showers and thunderstorms. Don't be surprised if a couple of these go severe on us on Wednesday. We'll be here watching those as they move through the day on Wednesday and into Wednesday evening. A lot of rainfall projected here, especially for our eastern communities could be talking about three to maybe even four inches on the extreme side as we go through the day on Wednesday. Our local outlook again thunderstorms on the day on Wednesday temperatures in those 70s then on Thursday that all pushes out Thursday morning bringing us more sunshine into Thursday afternoon temperatures climbing into those upper 80s and then as we go to Friday we'll start to cool off with a little more sunshine into those upper 70s even cooler on Saturday with temperatures in the low 70s even a couple of upper 60s. 60s for some of our communities on Saturday. We do it again on Sunday with temperatures remaining in those middle 70s. We'll start to warm back up as we head towards next Monday. Tonight, we drop down to around 60 degrees under mostly clear conditions. For our Tuesday, we'll top out near 90 with partly cloudy conditions. Those winds gusting out of the south of force of 30 miles an hour. And as we go through the next five days, this is what to expect across our region. Continue to watch those cold fronts pushing through Tuesday into Wednesday. That one brings us rain showers and thunderstorms throughout the day on Wednesday. Then Thursday brings the much cooler air rolling into the weekend. We have more KCN news. Stay with us.